everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 28 for you guys and it is sort of special today because it is the fourth of july guys celebrating independence day here america's independence and you guys know for a fact that without this man there would be no United States of America. Of course, George Washington, the greatest to ever do it. Greatest president of all time. Look at it, man. I mean, just look at it. This this is this probably is one of my favorite figures ever, guys. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't love George freaking Washington? Look at him complete with wrestling gear. Got the old school boots and tights going on. He's ripped to shreds. He's got the axe going with him. I mean, look at this guy. One of my favorite figures in my collection, man. I, I freaking love this figure. But happy 4th of July, guys. I hope you guys do have a great time today with your families doing whatever you do, celebrating America, the greatest country in the world. But in today's action figure surgery, guys, we're not going to be here very long. We only have three fix-ups here today, but we are going to go through them, guys, and it's going to be it's going to be an awesome episode if everything comes together the way I want it to. We're going to fix up this Rey Mysterio figure, and I think we're going to make it a lot more epic than it already is. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I could be wrong when it's all said and done, but hopefully not. Let's go ahead and dive right into what we're going to be doing, guys. We're going to start off with Zack Ryder. Everybody knows that in the pick fed, Zack Ryder is a heel, and you guys can see here he has a baby face smile. I mean, look at him. He's totally baby face here. He's all smiley and stuff. What we're going to do is switch his head scan with this Zack Ryder, the Elite 9 Zack Ryder. I think this is the Elite 9. Yeah, I think this is the Elite 9 Zack Ryder. We're going to take this Zack Ryder and we're going to switch the head scans. And I know you're thinking, well, MDT has got the woo 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 headband on, man. And that means that it's pink and it doesn't match the attire. Well, what I'm going to do, Brad, is I'm going to switch the head scans and then this week sometime I'm going to paint the head scan so that it matches the attire in the red, white, and blue. That way when Zack Ryder appears on TV um, for MDT Live, he will have the headband on. So that is my thinking there with these Zack Riders. We're going to switch those head scans, so nothing too crazy there. For the next fix-up, guys, we do have the Elite 59 Miz figure, and this head scan, I'm so sick of this Miz head scan. Would you just look at how awful it is? But seriously, I hate this head scan. It's been on there way too long. It's that Battle Pack head scan with Shane McMahon and Miz. I'm going to take the Elite 37 Miz head scan that I got from my boy Steinsenberg Customs. You guys know Cody Sethman over there on Steisenberg Customs. We're going to switch this head scan over here. I really like this mid head scan. It's not as good as the Elite Series 69 that we're getting very soon. I doubt I get mine in the mail because it's 4th of July. You know, the mail doesn't run and it's going to be it's going to be here probably Friday or Saturday and it's just going to upset me but we do have a lot of great figures coming in but there it is. This figure's head will look great on here. Cannot wait for that one and uh, oh my god, I dropped it on the floor. Retrieved it. And the last fix-up, guys, we have sort of a Frankenstein effort, guys. This one is going to be wicked, okay? So we have the Elite Series 67 Rey Mysterio. You guys know this is a flashback Mysterio from WCW, but if you guys can notice what stands out about this figure, and if you can't see, it is the Kawhi Leonard-sized hands that gave this man... Uh about choked right there. But it's the oversized hands that we're getting right here. They're way too big. They didn't give him Rey Mysterio sized hands. They gave him regular, you know, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, regular AJ Styles sized hands. And it's just not right, man. We're going to have to take these off. But my plan is to remove these arms. And what we're going to do is remove those arms. And I'm going to be taking arms from, what figure was it? What figure did I decide to use? I think I'm going to use this figure. Was it this figure? I believe it's this one. Uh, yeah, it's this figure right here. We're going to take this figure. We're going to switch the arms of this over here. We're going to slide the gauntlets off of the, uh, the wrists right here. These gauntlets from this figure, slide those off, pop the hands out, put these arms over here, slide the gauntlets on, and I don't know if I'm going, I guess I have to, right? I'm going to plug in the black gloves. And the reason that you're probably saying, why do you have all these figures here? I honestly, I, I could not tell you. I'm, I mean, honestly, I don't know why this Rey Mysterio here, right here is here. I mean, get out of my face. So the reason that we have all these figures here is because we're going to switch these arms over here and once that's complete, and the hands, we're going to switch these basic arms and hands over to the Elite because I like my Elites to be complete, you know? I, I don't mind if basic Basics are missing arms. I can just throw them in a in a box and and forget about them forever. 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 So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to take Rey Mysterio, fix him up. I think it'll look good in the very end. Hopefully that's, that's you know, that's accurate and it'll look good. I thought about switching out these boots with uh, Kalisto boots, you know, the ones that have the pink color with the dragon on them, but I was like, that that doesn't match. The pink doesn't look good, you idiot. That'll look so stupid. So that's what we're going to do, guys. I guess we can start off with the head scans because those are going to be the fastest, and then we'll move on to Rey. I'm really excited about the Rey Mysterio, guys, but let's go ahead on this 4th of July. Let's get things started with some action figure surgery here on episode 28 and get these fix-up swivages and swappages started. 
All right, guys, I got the men lined up here. I got them all stacked up. Hopefully, that Elite 37 Miz head scan doesn't just go flying away here. We do have the trusty white hair dryer in position, ready to go. Well, we don't have it in position, Brad. Like, let's relax. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, so we have the white hair position. We have the hope. We have the white hair dryer slid in position, and now it is time to start. But I'm kind of afraid that it's going to blow them that way. So let's see if we can maneuver something. I'm going to have to put this here. That'll that'll keep it. No, this will keep it from rolling away. And then uh, maybe we can get something else. We'll put old trusty George right here to prevent the Miz from blowing away. Or should we put him here? Because if it does this way, no, it's 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 here. You stupid. All right, now we're ready. Now the, now we are perfectly ready. Let's hit it. Alright guys, I got a little carried away on the time there. Hopefully these uh, these head scans do come off and we switch them and swap them. Oh my god, he's so loosey-goosey. Let's go ahead and just pop that off there. There is a peg in this head scan here, but hopefully that's not a big deal. I need some pliers. Where's the pliers? Oh, F. Running short of time. I need a nurse. I need face wife in here to be the nurse so that we don't run a little on time here. Alright, grab the grab the peg, pull it out slowly. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, so get rid of that, get rid of the pliers, pop the head scan on here. Zack Ryder's over there dying. Uh, pop that head scan on there. We'll take a look at that afterwards. And then moving on to Zack Ryder. Got the head scan off there. Got a floppy doppy. Got to get the other head scan off. Achieved. Flip it over. Get the, uh, the, the headband head scan here. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. So we got that over there. Now I guess we can... Well, this came out of nowhere, so this this can go die in a fire. And this head scan, I guess, can go over here. Now we're doing that fix-up that Wadfigs did that one time, except he had the good torso on there. He knew what he was doing. Now look how weird this looks. God, he looks like his head is just massive. Anyways, we'll take a look at those in the at the end of the video, the end portion of the video. But now, guys, let's go ahead and get into our Rey Mysterio fix-up, which should be epic as hell. I'm very excited for the way that's going to turn out. I don't even know where I put the Rey Mysterio figures. All right, so what we're doing first is we're going to remove these hands because they're way too massive. Get those hands out of there. We're going to add those to our extra baggie full of hands. We're going to do that later, but those are over there. Now we're going to slide these gauntlets off. I said we're going to slide these gauntlets off there, and we're going to take that, set that over there. These gauntlets are really nicely sculpted. I really like them a lot. They look really good. They have the good gold paint on them. Really nice stuff. All right, so we got both of those, and these arms will probably be used in a Mysterio down the line or something, maybe. I'm not sure, but there we go, Ray Mysterio looking good, and uh, now we have to heat up the arms, so we'll put the arms up over his head and wave them like we just don't care. I mean, this head scan, you know what they did, guys? I can tell you right now why um, they messed up this figure is because they gave him his older body mold, but they gave him his newer body mold head scan because you remember when they released his older figures like this, this is the Elite 5 Ray Mysterio. When they they released this or at least I don't I don't remember the series I think it's elite five but you guys see that the torso is supposed to be like this like you see how they did that that's fine but they gave him the head scan like his newer figures that's why it's slightly larger because his newer released Rey Mysterio elites they had the uh, the bigger torso and the bigger head scan like you see here and back in the day they had a smaller head scan and smaller torso like you see here so they mixed them up and this head scan should be this size not that size that's where it's all effed up and messed up but anyways Let's get into it. We're going to try and heat up all this, uh, all these arms at once and just see how it goes. But let's put the heads over the arms. Let's put the arms over the heads, you mean, you stupid jackass. Plop them down here. Oh, my goodness. Plop them down here, and we're going to heat up all of these arms at the same time and uh, just see how this goes, and hopefully everything works out and uh, we can get all these Rey Mysterio switches done. And uh, I'm going to take these gauntlets over here so I don't lose them because I so will. You guys know I will. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys. Let's see how this jazz goes. We're gonna start off with the new elite, and we're gonna pop his. We're gonna. We're gonna pop. Goodness gracious, alive! All right, we got the first arm popping off the second arm here. Very nice. Now moving on to the next thing. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take this and just plop it on right now because we have to. We have to put those gauntlets back on there. So we're gonna pop these off. Oh my God in heaven! That burned like hell. I'm actually going to have to reheat these hands up. Isn't that some bitch? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect these arms. Uh, that's the wrong arm, you stupid moron. All right, so we're going to pop this arm into here. 
if it'll go. Jesus, will it go? Did I do all this for nothing? Gee, are you are you serious? All right, I think I got it on there. That was weird. I think it'll go. It just has to be like forced on there. There's no gapage, I don't think, but it's like really tough to get in the hole. I think it's because the, the peg is still loosey-goosey. Yeah, I think that peg is still loose or something. All right, well, anyways, I think I'm gonna have to re reheat up these hands anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do is we're going to take the, uh, the hand right here. We're gonna heat it up like that and heat up the same like this and hopefully it'll stay in place. But I guess I can go ahead and pop these arms off of this basic and go ahead and plop them onto this other Elite so that the Elite is already done and I don't have to come back and do it. I don't know what's up with these Rey Mysterio arms, like not wanting to go on, but I guess it's because uh, the pegs are kind of long and uh, I think actually the pegs on the shoulders are actually bigger than the holes themselves. So you gotta get the you gotta get that arm really heated up just to slide down in there. And these arms that are on the Elite Series 67 Rey Mysterio are actually the same exact mold. There we go, that looks a lot better now. Uh, we're not having an armless Rey Mysterio, but these, these are molded the same exact way as those arms, but maybe they did like the engineering on the inside or whatever is different, but there we go, got the purple sleeves, and we'll probably put that on a Rey Mysterio fix up down the line or something, but toss those off to the side, and now we're gonna reheat up these hands. So we'll slide off the hands, take off those gauntlets, put on the other gauntlets, re-put the black gloves back on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should be good enough. You may not believe this, but earlier I actually popped out a Rey Mysterio hand, or I tried to, and I literally snapped the peg, and I wanted to snap my own neck. But there we go, and I do that sort of method right there where you kind of tug and pull, but you don't pull hard. You kind of like boom, 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 and then smack it like that. But uh, let's go ahead and attach this arm again. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's up with this arm not wanting to go on here. I think it's just, yeah, that that it's because this part is so loosey-goosey that it doesn't want to go up in there like this. You see that? Like when you try to put a loosey-goosey inside of a loosey-goosey, doesn't work. All right, guys, I finally got it in there. Both arms are secure. Now what we have to do is slide those gauntlets on, but I don't want to slide the gauntlets on until these holes are heated up because I don't think these hands are just going to pop up in here. Yeah, they're not going to just pop up in there. So we're going to have to heat up the, the wrists here, and then we will slide on the gauntlets. I would put the gauntlets on first, but then you put the gauntlets on, then you heat it up, then it warps your gauntlets. Then your gauntlets are effed, and you don't want to eff your gauntlets. So let's go ahead and heat these holes up. Then we will put the gauntlets on. Then we will attach the hands, and we will see what this looks like. And I already can see that you guys are going to hate it, but I think I like it. Would it be better if the shoulders were switched out? Probably, but we're going to see what it looks like anyways. All right, guys, that should be good enough. Let me go ahead and grab my gauntlet so we have it correctly. I believe this is this gauntlet right here because they face inward, right? So we slide that on into place, and then we take our other gauntlet, slide that one on into place, get everything in place. Then we take our hand, and we pop it up into there. If it'll go, it should be good enough. I know it wasn't directly in front of the heat, but it was close enough, I believe. So let's go ahead and slide that up in there. Turn it over here, slide this up in here. And once that's popped in, I don't think it's good enough. No, it's not. Well, I'll see you guys at the end when we reveal everything that we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, you guys will see that this Zack Ryder, I do not know how to feel about this, guys. I really feel like I may have to do some sort of Frankenstein-esque type surgery on this guy. I think that the best torso to use for Zack Ryder is the Dolph Ziggler style torso, and uh, the problem with that is it doesn't match the skin tone. I know uh, that Seth Rollins' skin tone does match this, so maybe I can use an old Seth Rollins torso and then uh, switch out the legs and stuff and use some decals or something because I am not feeling this head scan with this torso. It's like it sits, even like his regular head scan that the figure came with, it just doesn't sit right with me. I don't know what it is and uh, I, I don't know. We'll have to do some sort of Frankenstein effort, but uh, we'll have to fix it. Oh, this is on ball joints. Would you look at that right there? That is beautiful. Yeah, we're going to do we're gonna do some stuff, man. We're going to change this thing up. I don't know when it'll be, but we definitely have to fix this because I'm not feeling this head scan on this body. I just don't know what it is. Even if it was painted up America style, just look at it from the distance. It just looks weird. It's like the shoulders or something is thrown off. But looking at the Elite 37 Miz slash Elite 59 Miz fix up right here, guys, I really do like this. I love this Miz head scan. I think it's one of the better Miz head scans, if not the best, that we've gotten for Miz. And I really do like this one. It's a lot better than that weird one that just came out um, in the new Basic series or whatever it was. I like this one a whole lot better. And uh, I've never owned this before, so a huge shout out to 
Cody for conducting that trade and getting this in here. It looks great. It makes the figure look great, and I'm happy for this fix-up. Now that uh, if Miz shows up on Vindication, he'll look a whole lot better because uh, this, this head scan's miles ahead of the other one. So I really like this Miz fix-up. And then the main event, guys, the Rey Mysterio fix-up that we did on the Elite Series 67 Rey Mysterio. I really like this, man. I really do. I love the way that the gauntlets slash gloves look, how it has like the Rey Mysterio on there. He's got like the long glove look on. I really do like it, man, with the tattoos on there. Another thing I will add is probably if I switched out the shoulders, it would probably look even better, but I do like it. I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like he has like an Under Armour short sleeve tight fit t-shirt on with, uh, you know, his tattooed up arms. He's got the, the, I think another thing that throws this figure off is the big head scan. We covered that. This is the newer Rey Mysterio molded head instead of the older one, and I looked around and seen if there was another Rey Mysterio we've gotten with the older head scan that I could, you know, switch out of here with this same pink fuchsia color, but it does not exist right now, and so I may have to either buy some paint, paint up a Rey Mysterio mask, or something to the same colors as this, because that head is pretty big. It's not, like, totally throwing me off, but uh, this definitely looks a lot better than those massive Kawhi Leonard hands, I'll tell you that, and matching with the gold boots, or the gold stripes on the legs, and then the black boots tied in with the gloves and the gauntlets and everything, I think it looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like this fix-up, and I hope you guys do as well. I would love to know your thoughts down below on the Rey Mysterio, as well as the other things. Don't you think I should, like, redo this whole Zack Ryder, or do you think the head skin looks fine on this body? Let me know down in the comment section below. I don't know what it is. I think it's the shoulders throwing me off, but also let me know what you think about the Miz head skin on this body, but thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Also, guys, again, have a great 4th of July. The homie George Washington, the GOAT right here, says to have a safe and happy 4th of July. Enjoy your Independence Day. Thanks to the GOAT right here. Leading the revolution and taking control here is George Washington, but thank you guys so very much for watching, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, let me know down below and leave a like. Comment down below all the things I asked you to subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.